Hi Libra, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading. I have pre-shuffled this deck so whatever falls out I'm going to lay out. This is intended to be a weekly love reading but it is not a private reading so it may not resonate with you. Take what does and leave the rest. I will focus the camera in once I get the cards laid out. It is for the week of December 4th through December 10th. Well, we have a lot of reversals here. Out of all the cards I just laid out, we have two upright cards, okay? So let me just focus this in. I want to remind you that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this video should not be on anybody else's channel, okay? So the basis of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles re reversed. I mean, there is some delays. There's things have like... It's come to a halt, okay? Something has, like, come to a halt. And I feel like, you know, you're at your wit's end. <laughs> you're at your wit's end. You could be feeling withdrawn. Somebody could have withdrawn from you. Um, or you could just be feeling like you don't have anything else to give. It's it's over, you know? It's like, you know, you know, you may not be feeling very secure. You may not be feeling very stable. There's conflicts and tension. Um, there's some power struggles, um, I think that something needs to end and you guys are resisting it. You really are. I mean, it's pretty clear you're still resisting that. We have the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed. Something is very heavy and it's weighing you down and you are absolutely ignoring it. Okay? You're not letting it end when it needs to end. I mean, that's what these cards say. There's a lack of togetherness. There's a lack of communication. There's a lack of teamwork. Um, I feel like somebody isn't putting in any effort in, in a relationship and it is a lot of uh, depression, okay? I mean, it's pretty clear. There is. It looks like a cycle needs to end, but you guys just will not let it end. Somebody's not letting the cycle end. The moon is cycles. It is reversed. It needs to happen, but, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles right there, right next to it, Somebody is resisting this completion that needs to end. This cycle is, is ready to end, okay? Whatever has happened is meant to be, all right? It's all there is to it. Somebody has to really open their eyes and stop procrastinating. They need to accept the truth. Somebody that's watching this is, is resisting a change big time. Okay, I think if there could be a 30 part, third party situation and you just can't get over it. I mean, it's, it's pretty, I mean, it, for somebody, there's a third party situation. It's causing a lot of conflicts and somebody feels like they've been stabbed right in the back and they just can't get over it. Not only have they been stabbed in the back, they've been stabbed in the heart. Okay, whether it's you or the other person, somebody has feels like they've been stabbed. Okay, and there's a lot of moping, there's a lot of crying, and there's a lot of challenges because of it. Because you're holding on for dear life, you're going to continue to um, stay right where you are. Okay, I can see that you're holding on for dear life, you know, by, the, by a thread. Um, and, and there's definitely some energy of feeling withdrawn and needing to be alone. And even if you don't want to be alone, but I think the, the emotions are overwhelming. It's like an, an emotional roller coaster right now. Um, you really do have to walk away from a situation, but you just don't have the strength to do it. Okay? It's time to let the door close, but you won't. You won't, okay? You're not taking action, okay? That King of Wands is reversed. You're not taking action. You're, you're just <laughs> sitting back, waiting, being lazy, 
I mean, I don't know if it's you or the other person, but somebody isn't putting in any effort to making a change. Okay? They're just, they're, they're just not. I don't know if it's you or the other person, but somebody doesn't, isn't, is just ignoring the truth. I mean, that's all there is to it. Um, with that Knight of Pentacles being the basis of your reading and it is reversed, nothing is happening. There's no forward movement here in the name, in, in love. There's no forward movement because you guys haven't closed the door. You know, you haven't let a cycle end that needs to end. This Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Wands with the moon. There's something that needs to be completed, but you will not let the completion happen. Yeah, where's your strength? Yeah, I think I said that. I can't remember what I said, but it feels like you don't have yeah, you don't have the strength to do it. It takes strength, it takes willpower, it takes courage, and you are going to have to hold your head up high. Okay? Release, let go, and be strong. Hold your head up high, Libra. Hold your head up high. It takes strength. I think many of you really have your, have been fat. You feel like you've been stabbed right in the heart or somebody you're dealing with does, okay? And now it's going to take some strength to really do the right thing, to let the cycle end because it's over this moon. Moon is cycles, okay? Something that's unknown. And because this is reversed, you know, it's, it's, it's like it's, you know it needs to end, okay? But you won't let it. You're ignoring the truth. Not listening to your inner guide. I mean, that's the Hierophant. Not listening. Totally ignoring the truth. There definitely could be a third party situation here. And you need to realize that. That things are not going to change. It's time for you to come to a realization that somebody isn't coming back. Okay? Somebody isn't coming back. As, and you need to realize that. You, and the thing is, is that you know it, but you're, you're in complete denial. It's like you're lying to yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, that door needs to close. Nines are about closure. Now you have nine. I mean, you have three nines, nine, nine, nine. When you see 999 anywhere, it's time to close something. It's time to close a door. It's time to close a chapter. Something needs to end when you see three nines. Okay? You have three nines. Something needs to end. Okay? And it's in your hands. But you're not taking action upright. This would tell me that, you know, you look into your crystal ball. And you get the answers. And you act on it. Here, with this reversed... You may be looking in your crystal ball and you may be getting the answers, but you're ignoring them. Okay? I can see that you are with the hair font reverse. Somebody is being told what to do via from somebody from above, God, spirits, angels, universe, even your inner guide is telling you what to do. But you are completely ignoring it. You're blocking out the thoughts. You're blocking out the feelings. You're blocking out the truth. You're not believing it. Disbelief. That's what's here. Disbelief. It takes strength. It takes strength to hold your head up high and move on. Okay? You need to stop procrastinating. That's the basis of your reading. You've been procrastinating and waiting 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 and waiting. And waiting, do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody is not coming back. Okay? They're not. They're not. I mean, it's time to realize it. It's time to realize it. It's time to start a new journey, and you are, you're, you're not willing to do that. 
That's why the fool is reversed. You, ha it's time. We have these completions right over this, right, this fool, right over the ten of wands. Co reverse, both of them are, because you won't let go. I can't let go and start over. Bullshit. It's in your hands. You can flip this card over and take the lead to your own destiny, to your own future, whenever you muster up the strength to do that. It's time to move on. This is the chariot. Move on. Master your emotions. This is also master your emotions. Master your emotions and get moving. This week is I see that it's still about procrastination. But I see I see that you're you're getting messages, okay? You are getting messages on what to do, but you're not listening. You're not listening. You're blocking out the truth. That's what's absolutely going on. Do I see a new love coming in? No, I don't. Because you're still stuck. You won't let something end. You will not. And it is blocking you from your wish fulfillment. It is. Because you will not close that door. You want to live in depression. You want to cry. You want to be hurt. You want to block out the truth. You want to hide it. Fine. Stay there. But don't expect any new love to come in. Look at that. We're going to pay attention to the cards around it here. You see the card. I know exactly what happens. You see the card. And you're like, oh, this is why I'm not letting go. Okay, let's look. Let's see what's around this card. Okay, yeah, people come into your life for a reason. We have multiple soulmates in a lifetime, okay? We do. It doesn't mean that they are going to be with you for the rest of your life. A soulmate comes into your life to help you grow in some way, to teach you something, okay? They do. So yes, whoever you're thinking about, was or is a soulmate but it is not working out because you haven't learned your lesson yet you haven't learned your lesson about strength courage confidence self-worth self-respect they came in here to teach you self-respect and self-worth it was just a cycle this is cycles, the moon. They came into your life for a cycle. It's over. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Ten of Wands reversed, it is over. The cycle is done. Accept the truth, which you are not. Accept the truth. This situation involves marriage. As you know, this card came out reversed. I flipped it. You, and this is marriage as well, so if we just leave this flipped like it was. You, being stuck here, are being blocked from your future. This is a blockage, but it's also a marriage. This right here is reverse. It's a marriage or a commitment. You're being blocked. You are blocking this happiness from coming by not being willing to start over, to start anew. You're blocking your wishes in love from being fulfilled because you think this is the only person for you. That's not the case. This is the major issue right here. You deserve love. You are lovable. You are lovable. And this person came in to teach you that. 
When are you going to realize it? This is realization. When are you going to realize what you deserve? Where's your self-respect? Where's your self-esteem? Where's your self-worth? What do you deserve? To be a third-party situation? I'm going to get you one of my other little cards from my Whispering Woods little deck here. Ooh. Surprises. Interesting. Under the most ordinary stone is an undisturbed garden. You have somebody else, Libra. That's what this tells me. There is a marriage for somebody in the future. Once you let go of this heaviness that you are carrying around, once you let the door close that needs to close, once you let the completion happen, once you really figure out what you're worth, there is a marriage in your future. So that's what I have, Libra. I'm sorry this isn't the most positive reading. I can't make it be what it's not. And neither can you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Every word that comes out of my mouth during this reading is for you. I can't make it be what it's not. And neither can you. God is in control. That's what I have. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this recording should not be on anybody else's channel. If, they ha if they've stolen it, that's what they've done, and it will be reported. I'll report it to DCMA, but if you could also report it, just hit the little report button, I would appreciate that. Thank you.